Sorry about that. Someone walked into my room. Obviously, so I hate it when I have to cut my camera when I only talk for like two to a couple minutes. But you're, you're, you know what I'm saying? But like, but someone literally came into my room. I had to shut the camera off. I don't want you just getting disturbed, obviously. I have 40, 48 minutes left on my phone. So I can talk for what? I can, I can talk for 30 minutes. And then the remaining 18 minutes. I'll babble on for the rest of the video, obviously. So, so at 30 minutes, I'll, I'll, I'll start it and I'll talk for the remaining 18 minutes after this. Obviously, right? Yeah. But yeah, man. You might hear some noise, just someone walking. Obviously. But yeah, man, the deal, people, what do you understand? VJ is gonna be VJ is gonna be so what? She's gonna be so cocky, obviously, because now she's she's boss with Ivan. It's a good feeling knowing that you're that you're the boss. You own your own company, bigger than all these Hollywood companies, and you're the one paying all these Hollywood actors for salary. It's a good fucking feeling, obviously. And you're you're, you're feel boss. And by the way, guys, I signed this huge deal with I, me and Ivan signed this huge deal with Amazon, the biggest deal ever made. You're looking at the biggest deal ever, biggest movie deal ever made, man. As of that deal, that contract me and wife are going to sign, you're looking at a huge contract. 60%, flat 60% of all profits, and Amazon gets their flat 40% of all profits. So Skysys gets their 60% cut, their flat 60% cut of all profits for the 4K Blu-ray sales and the posters, and Amazon gets their flat 40% profits of all the 4K Blu-rays and the posters. Me just like, hey guys, hey guys you, know, you know the deal that I signed? Me and Ivan signed this huge deal. I'm saying we're gonna we're gonna be fucking we're ready fuck we're gonna be so loaded obviously it's actually funny hence why VJ made what I now I now figure out the post because oh my god I now understand why VJ made that bang on your knees song yeah man that bang on your knees song what is is a symbolism of I already I already gave you my reasons it's a symbolism of what VJ is like in that song she's like one day before I thought she was talking about a guy. A guy, a guy, a guy, a guy hurt her feelings, obviously. A guy hurt her feelings or something like that. But now I figure it out, like, no, man. The Big Iron Knee song was symbolic of you. Of you world, obviously. One day, you'll be begging on your knees for me. One day, you'll be crawling like your centipede. You mess with me and mess with her. Who's she talking about? Ivan and Vija, obviously. You mess with me and mess with her. And you would get all that you deserve. You know what I'm saying? And she even talked about she even talked about how you played me. Who she who she talking about played me? The world, obviously. Your step family, the world, they played her, obviously. They duped her into selling. And they and they what? They had her be a porn star to cause a mess in Ivan's life. They played her, obviously. Just like the step families also played me too. They had me believe in Jesus. They had me believe out their poor. They fucking do they the, both the step families played both me and my wife, obviously. That's why it's a VJ. VJ likes just like I like putting in symbolism in my work. VJ likes putting symbolism in her stuff too. Obviously, <coughs> you see what I'm saying here. VJ made that beg on me song because the world is gonna get what they deserve. The world is gonna beg for forgiveness. Obviously, once I pay this horrific fee, once I cry my eyes out when you guys are blind, you have me be a porn star. You know what I'm saying? So you put my wife through that horror. Obviously, you have Ivan have sex with I don't know a thousand, fifteen hundred women, whatever it is. You have my wife, you put my wife through that pain, obviously. Trust me, VJ, VJ doesn't know the pain. She, VJ doesn't understand the pain yet because no mess has happened in her life yet. But once I pay his fee, VJ will finally understand the pain that I feel. As you have no idea how much this horror mess pisses me off, man. It affects my sleep. Sometimes I get depressed about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it really, really affects, it really, really affects what? It's affecting my life, obviously. VJ, VJ doesn't understand the pain that I'm going through right now. But once I pay this fee, VJ will finally understand the pain that, that, that I went through, obviously. Obviously, right? Hence why VJ made that bang on you. Oh my god, you I now you know once I pay this fee, VJ will be like, oh my god, Ivan, I now understand the pain that you went through. The mess. Yeah, man. It's a shitty feeling knowing that what? Your wife has been intimate with so many men. It's a shitty, very shitty feeling. Intimate with so many men, and your wife and your husband's been intimate with so many women. It's a fucking hurt. It's a very, very it's not a good feeling, obviously. Hence why VJ made that bang on your song. You mess with me and you mess with her. So you mess with my wife by having I be a porn star. And you also mess with me by having VJ be a porn star. 
and she caused mess in both our lives, obviously. And so the world's gonna beg for forgiveness, obviously. They're gonna beg on their knees. Beg on your knees is symbolic of the world begging. They're gonna, <laughs> you world are gonna beg for forgiveness, obviously. <coughs> You're gonna beg for forgiveness, obviously, but it's too late. In other words, the price, the, the, the price of being left behind is such a horrific price. You world are going to really feel it, obviously, and you're going to beg for forgiveness because you're looking at international crazy fame, and you're going to feel a bad and left behind, my God. And you guys are going to cry, and you're going to beg for forgiveness, but it's too late. And you're going to wish you can take every moment back. You guys you guys are going to wish, you guys are going to wish you made the other choice. Oh, my God, I wish we just made the other choice. At least we would have seen I and Rita's glory and would have been saved in spite of not knowing everyone else let's have sex, obviously. And it's finally going to hit your minds, oh, my God. Being saved and seeing Iron Media's glory is worth so much in the rip-off bullshit sex and being left behind. Yeah. But you guys were blind. You made the wrong choice, obviously. It's too late, obviously. As I trapped you with a choice, and you made the wrong choice, obviously. See what I'm saying here? So VJ made that Bang On Your Knees song because the world's going to get what they deserve, obviously, by being left behind, abandoned by God. They're not going to be saved. You guys will not be saved, obviously. <coughs> and you guys are going to beg for forgiveness, obviously. You guys are going to beg for forgiveness. A lot of people are going to be like, I have VJ, forgive me, but it's too late, man. I'm not going to just do it like that. You won't talk about me in the public eye as I'm not making any videos for you. You want to keep my 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 channel sabotage not talking to me in the public eye. I am not making any videos. I'm actually doing like that. You guys are going to beg for forgiveness and you're going to be left behind, obviously, which is a very horrific price to pay, obviously. All those Hollywood actors are going to beg the Lucky Joe's and actors if they can give I VJ word. You're looking at something fucking crazy, obviously. They're going to beg. So all the actors chose of his heinous, all the Hollywood actors in Hollywood, the beat from all ranks, the beatest actors, the rising stars... The smaller aliasers and, and the bigger aliasers, they're all going to beg these actors if they can give I and Ouija work because they also buy the one man movie and they, they don't want to be left behind. They want to be saved, obviously. So the world's going to get what they deserve, obviously. They're going to be left behind and they're going to beg me why, they're going to beg me why for forgiveness, obviously. It looks like fucking crazy. Just like in the Bible, those who are thrown to hell, obviously, when they're separated from God and they're, and they're not in heaven, they beg, they beg for forgiveness. Lord, please forgive me. What's well, the symbolism of me and white being king and queen? Once we went for King Queen, we're now living a life, and you get that international fame, and the whole world's left behind, and they all see hell. They're all going to beg for forgiveness, but it's too late. The judgment of God is set upon the world, obviously. See what I'm saying here? And those actors, all those Hollywood actors, are going to beg, desperately beg these actors, chosen for Zanus. You're looking at something fucking crazy in Hollywood. Like, what I mean, everyone, they're all going to beg, because most actors in Hollywood live in Los Angeles. So when these actors are hanging out in Los Angeles or like going to, going to an event, you're going to see all these Hollywood actors trying to network with them, obviously. As all their agents are going to tell, hey, man, whatever you do, network with all these actors. As being in I and VJ's movie is what? It's a huge opportunity, obviously. As all the Hollywood actors are going to so badly want to be in me and Wise movie. Look at something crazy, man. As There's nothing cool than experiencing that crazy buzz with I and VJ. As all of them are going to network with these, these actors chosen for these. Say, hey, man, can you give I and VJ a word? But these actors are not going to give word because what? We live in a competitive, Hollywood's a competitive business, obviously. They're not going to give word because of what? They don't want these actors rising. They know after they film Zanus, they're going to have successful careers in Hollywood. They don't want these actors rising their level, and so they're not going to give word, obviously. Just like in Hollywood, none of the actors give word because they're all selfish, obviously. Everyone in Hollywood is for themselves, obviously. See what I'm saying here? That's how boss me and be. Vijay will be so boss, one day you'll be begging on your knees. All you, act, all you big woman actors in Hollywood who put me down, made fun of my shitty sabotage career, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Now you're begging what? You're beg you're begging the two script developers. You're begging what? You're begging all these actors if you if they can give I VJ word because now I now I'm boss and my script developer is the one who decides this one gets cast. Obviously, VJ will be like, look at me now. You look at me now. Obviously, right? That's why she made that begging on your song. Obviously, obviously. At the same time, what? All those actors, all the actors chosen for my movies. Obviously, so the actors chosen for Zane is. After filming is completed and they experience that international fame, if not, once I ended off with the red carpet event and the luxury hotel party, I'm going to end it off with that. Once I ended off with that, these actors are all going to bag their asses off for me and my wife to resign them. You're looking at something fucking crazy. Once, once, once what? Once I finish filming, once finish, filming is finished and the actors experience the buzz with the interviews and all that stuff, and I ended off with the red carpet event and luxury hotel party, all these Hollywood actors are going to really desperately beg their asses off. When I mean beg, I mean they're really, really going to beg, man. They're really, really going to beg their asses off. For me, and For me, I'm more sensitive. That's why VJ made that Bang On Your Knees song. Yeah, man. These actors are really, really going to beg their asses off, obviously. They're really, really bad because they, they, they want to be saved, man. They just experience... They know what it's like to be a part of that buzz, worldwide buzz. 
You're looking at the whole world going crazy. Imagine all continents going crazy with my movie, man. All of China, all of Japan, <coughs> all of Europe. Imagine all of Europe going crazy with Last of Us movie, right? All of North America. You're a part of that buzz. You feel on top of the world, obviously. You see the trailers. You're part of that crazy worldwide buzz from Last of Us movie. That's why these actors are going to fill on top of the world. Same time you got paid your free millions, you, you get your freedom. You got spoiled with your luxury buffet, luxury hotel party, all that stuff. Parking up at Ivan's condo. You know what I'm saying? Doing tables is yard. They're part of that, you know what I'm saying? The once month parties. They're part of the, 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 part of the crazy, what, the crazy trends. These actors are going to be trying online once they, once they start the process for Sky Source. The last one was movie. Hence why they're all going to what? They're all going to beg their ass off me to sign. And when I mean beg, I mean they really are going to beg, man. You're looking at something crazy. Like, Ivan, please, man. Like, please, man. I, I don't want to go to Hollywood, man. I want to be with you, man. Like, please, Ivan. Like, please. And some of them might even cry. That's how crazy of a, that's how crazy it's going to be, man. Guaranteed. I guarantee you a few of the actors might tear up and sob when, when, after this filming is completed. Because they just experienced that international fame with Ivan VJ. Unheard of fame, they never experienced before, and they know what it's like to be a part of the buzz for the movie, and they know what it's like to be saved. At the same time, they got their freedom, they got paid their millions, and they got their freedom, which is an amazing feeling, obviously. Whereas they know when they go back to Hollywood, they're gonna go, they're gonna go back to being the side attention. They're gonna be left behind. Yeah, they're successful, but like only a couple dozen million people are tuning into their movies. Whereas I didn't read you the main show. You know, what I'm saying at the same time, they're gonna go back to being dirty slaves, making the dirty millions, being a part of the Hollywood system. Hence why they're really, really going to beg me once we sign. At the same time, Scott's just buried in Hollywood. Hence why these actors are really, really going to beg, man. You're looking at something fucking crazy. Yeah, man. When I mean beg, I mean really, really beg. Man. I'm, not, I'm not talking about some simple begging like, Ivan, man, can you resign me, man? No, man. Like, they're really going to like be like, Ivan, man, please, man. Can you resign like, Please, Ivan. Please. It's like, Ivan, I'm not joking around. Like, please, I don't want to go to Hollywood, man. I want to be with you, man. I want to be in your next movie. Please, Ivan. Like, I don't want to go to Hollywood, man. Can you please resign me, man? Like, they're really, really going to beg because they, 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 Sky Source is better than Hollywood, man. At the same time, I paid them their free millions, which you're never going to get in Hollywood. In Hollywood, they don't pay you free millions. You, you're you a dirty slave in Hollywood. So even though I know I'm going to be successful in Hollywood, I'm a side tension. It feels like there's no one gives a shit about my movies. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, I'm going to go back to being a dirty slave, making my dirty millions, and being a part of the Hollywood system. Whereas for Ivan's company, there's no such thing as dirty money. Everything is clean. Same time, I get a. I'm gonna go back to eating shittier food because in Hollywood they serve the actors shittier food, obviously. Whereas I haven't even served me a nice like luxury buffet, which is nice, obviously. It's fucking nice getting served nice food while you're working, obviously. You see what I'm saying here? Yeah, man. Right. Hence why VJ made that beg on your knees song because these actors are really, really gonna beg. The beg the, the actors are not gonna beg on their knees. Beg on your knees is is what is is what. Is uh is, is symbolic obviously. It it means that these people these means the world's really gonna beg for forgiveness obviously, because now that now that they realize the price that they paid, which is being left behind. In other words, you guys don't see the the price of being left behind. You guys don't see how horrific of a price being left behind is. But once I peace out, you're finally gonna feel it. You're you're finally gonna see the horrific price of being left behind. That's a very horrific price of being left behind. Ivan and VJ trending every day worldwide. Wherever me and wife go. People take pictures and me and her are trending. You're looking at something fucking crazy, man. I'm in Vancouver, 500, 1,000 people take out their phones. Me and her are trending online. Constant trends, obviously. Me and her at the club, kissing, making out, trends, videos and pictures, trending. Me and her hanging out in another in another country, trend, pit, trending pictures. Hanging out in Vancouver, trending pictures. You know, you're looking at something fucking crazy, man. Constant trends, constant trends, something crazy. You're looking at international international crazy fame, such crazy fame, even the Hollywood celebrities will feel like shit. And Hollywood celebrities never feel like shit because they're already famous. Think about it. These Hollywood celebrities, they're already famous, obviously. They're already famous. Obviously, they live they live the life, obviously. They supposedly live the life because Hollywood celebrities are not free. They supposedly live the life, right? They supposedly live the great life, obviously, right? They supposedly live the life, obviously. They're famous, Sometimes you see a couple pictures. Usually you, you see a few pictures of Hollywood celebrities hanging out downtown and all that stuff. Whereas with Ivan and Vijay, you're looking at like a bunch of people taking pictures, obviously. And because these Hollywood celebrities are now the are now the side attention, obviously, because Ivan is the son of God and Vijay is the spirit of God, they're now the most famous celebrities around the world, obviously. And all these Hollywood celebrities are now the side attention. Even these Hollywood celebrities are gonna feel like shit. Because even though even though they have millions of followers, 
You know what I'm saying? And they and you know what I'm saying? They have a few pictures online. While that's going on, Ivan and VJ are trending online. <laughs> like the, the the main show, they're trending. So I don't know, a Justin Bieber concert's going on. Thousands of people go to that concert, but while that's going on, the whole world is tuning into Ivan and VJ's trends and Ivan and VJ are trending online. And you feel like shit because you're now the side tension, which is a very shitty feeling, obviously. And so even what I mean, like even guys like Justin Bieber, Drake, you know what I'm saying, Will Smith. See what I'm saying? These big actors, Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, Kendall Jenner, you know what I'm saying? Rihanna, like these celebrities are big and famous. Even these celebrities are gonna feel like shit when when when, when me and wife are King Queen and we're trying to line. Even they're gonna feel like shit. They're gonna really, oh man, like fuck, they're they're gonna feel like shit. <laughs> Hence why all the Hollywood actors are gonna so badly wanna be in me and wife's movies. They're all gonna desperately beg these actors if they can if they can what give I and VJ word. Even the big AS actors, guys like Will Smith. Keanu Reeves, you know what I'm saying? But there's a high chance those guys are chosen for my movie. But my point is, even the big actors, like like Dwayne Johnson, you know what I'm saying? Johnny Depp, you know what I'm saying? Smaller A-listers like Henry Cavill, those big actors, right? You know what I'm saying? Even what? Even those actors, you know what I'm saying? Ian McGregor, even those actors are going to desperately break these actors. Hey, man. Can you give Iron Vija a uh, can you please give Iron Vija a good word about me? What I mean, ask them, they're really gonna ask them, hey man, can you please I give Iron Vija a good word about me? I really want to be in this movie, man. Please. These actors will be like, yeah, yeah, I'll give him word, and they're not gonna they're obviously not gonna give him word, obviously. Because we live in a selfish world, obviously. These actors are obviously not gonna give word. Because <laughs> I don't want they don't want these actors rising to, I'm not giving you word. When I was in Hollywood, you brushed me aside. So I'm not giving you word, obviously. It's not gonna give him word, obviously. Which is understandable as Hollywood's a very competitive business, obviously. And that's how boss me and wife would be, man. You're looking at something crazy. And that's why BJ made that pick on your knee song. As you're looking at something fucking crazy, the world will be left behind. You're going to pay this horrific price. And you guys are going to beg for forgiveness, but it's too late, obviously. Now that your eyes are open, it's too late. I and VJ are not living life. And you're going to beg for forgiveness, obviously. Remember that one picture that VJ posted? VJ did this movie called Summertime, I believe. Yeah. She, she did this movie a couple years ago. She did this in the shitty ending movie called Summertime, obviously. Remember that picture that when VJ was sitting down and she looked sad? She wore this black leather jacket. She looked sad. She was looking like that. I guarantee you that was a symbolism of you, world. Dude, that's that's a shitty feeling. Yeah, man, you guys are gonna have that shitty feeling. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna feel like total shit, man. Because you're left behind, you're abandoned by from God's glory. Yeah, man. It's a shitty feeling, obviously. <coughs> Very hurt for price. Even guys like Keanu Reeves. Ben Affleck, you know what I'm saying, Scott Johansson, if they're chosen for my greatest game movie, even after experience that crazy buzz, the trends, as those if they're chosen for my movie, they're gonna be trying online. You're looking at fame like international fame like you've never seen before. After they experience that fame, even those actors are gonna beg me to resign them. Because they'd rather I'm, and big 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 A's actors don't struggle getting roles. They already have a bunch of roles given to them in Hollywood. And even those big AS actors, when they're in my movie, they're like, Ivan, man, please, I want to work for you. I'd rather work for you than work for Hollywood. I can't stand Hollywood, man. I know if I go back to Hollywood, I'm going to be a dirty slave. I won't be free. You know what I'm saying? I know what it's like to be rich and to be free. Your company is so much better than Hollywood, man. You serve me a nice social buffet. You fall on your private jet. You do table with your nice yacht. Whereas Hollywood, I'm going to go back to eating shitty food. You know what I'm saying? They're all going to like, they're all going to diss Hollywood. I fucking, I can't stand Hollywood. They're all going to really beg, man. Even guys like Keanu Reeves. Ben Affleck, Scarlett Johansson, these guys are big. Even these big actors are going to beg their asses off me where I can be signed. And these actors are big. And it doesn't get any better than being an A's actor. Be being a big A's actor. They know they're going to make a lot of money in Hollywood. And even then, yeah, Ivan, I'd rather work for you, man, please. Because they know in Hollywood they're going to go back to being dirty slaves. Yeah, even though I'm going to make a lot of money in Hollywood, I'm going to go back to being dirty slaves. My movie feels worthless to me. It's on the side tension. You know what I'm saying? I'm left behind. It's a shitty feeling to be left behind. Ivan Major is the main show. I'd rather experience success and fame with I and VJ and be a part of the buzz with them than being hollowed and be the side tension. Only have a couple dozen million people tuning into my movie. I'm also a dirty slave and, I'm, and I make my dirty millions. Yeah, hence why they're, they're all going to what? All the actors chosen for all my movies are all going to beg their asses off for me and my way through time. You're looking at something fucking crazy. Man. Obviously. Obviously, right? You're looking at something fucking crazy in Hollywood, man. You're looking at something fucking crazy for the Hollywood actors. They're all going to really, really beg these actors chosen for Zayn's and we want to resign them, obviously. Obviously. As well as what? The actors chosen for Zayn's, once filming's finished, 
They're really going to beg me when I do something. What well, I mean beg, they're going to be desperate, man. They're going to do whatever they can to, to try and be like, hey, Ivan, man, please, I'll do... Ivan, please, man, like, uh, please, man, like, I want to be in your movie, man. I don't want to go to Hollywood. They're going to be like, Ivan, please, like, I, like I, I, Ivan, I'm not kidding around, man. I don't want to go to Hollywood. I want to be with you, man. I don't want to go back to Hollywood. I want to be in your movie, man. Please, man. I'm like, look, man, like, I'm going to look, man. You can beg all you want. You're not going to be in my organization movie. You were good for Zanes, but you're not good for the next for the organization movie. <laughs> so think about it. They know having the same actors in the movie is very illogical, obviously. And even then, they still beg. Why? Because me and wife are that special, obviously. Because we're, we're, we're God, obviously. We're very we're special beings, obviously. You're going to see Vijay. No, I'm not. You're going to see Vijay. No, I'm not resigning. You know what I'm saying? We just like, no, I'm not resigning. You were good for Zanes, but you're not good for the organization movie. As I don't want the same actors in all my movies. No, man. I want different actors for my movies, obviously. But even then, these actors are still going to beg. As I'm going to keep saying that, obviously. Hence why VJ made that begging on your knees song. Because you, world, are going to get what you fucking deserve, man. You chose to cause mess in an innocent man's life. You didn't do anything wrong. All because of your envy. Hence, when he's king, I'm also going to cause mess in your life. You're going to be... Left behind, abandoned my God, day in and day out. And it's going to affect your daily life, man. Because while you're working, Ivan and VJ are trending online. While you're at, while, when you go back home and you're watching your television show and, your t and TV, you know what I'm saying? Ivan and VJ are trending online and you feel it. So, so while you're watching your TV show <coughs> or watching television, watching a movie, Ivan and VJ are constantly trending online and you feel left out of that, obviously. So while, I don't know, while, while you're watching your movie... Ivan and Vijay are, I don't know, you see trends of Ivan and Vijay making out in a club. You feel like shit. You see trends of pictures of Ivan and Vijay taking pictures with fans, with hundreds of fans. You know what I'm saying? You see, I don't know, while you're watching your movie or your television show, you see what? You see you see, you see the all of Switzerland cheering Ivan and Vijay and all the actors on. You feel left out in a band. It's a very horrific feeling, man. And that's the horrific price you were going to pay. You made me pay for price, especially having me suffer death. There's nothing worse than death. Death is a horrific punishment to suffer, obviously. You made me, you touched my wife, knowing I had to die. You made me pay a price, and you caused mess in my life. And so I'm also going to cause mess in your life. Me and her are king and queen. You're left behind. You're not saved. And you guys take, you guys can take this, you guys can take being left behind for granted. But trust me, man. Once I peace out, you're really going to feel it. As being left behind is a very, very horrific price to pay, man. It's a very, very horrific price to pay. <coughs> Hence why VJ made that bear on you something. You guys are going to beg for forgiveness. Too late. You're left behind, obviously. You, you get what you fucking deserve, obviously. Those Hollywood actors are going to desperately beg these chosen actors for Zanius if they can give Iron Reaching word. And those chosen Hollywood actors for Zanius are going to desperately beg me when to resign them. It looks to me fucking crazy, obviously. Yeah, man. That's how crazy of... of that's how crazy of what? Looking at worldwide international crazy buzz, man. You guys know what I'm talking about. You can see the future. You know how crazy of a, of a worldwide buzz you're looking at with the fame for me and my wife. You're looking at crazy international fame. Man. Something worldwide. International fame you've never experienced before. All these Hollywood celebrities who are famous, it's all side fame. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all, even though they're famous, it's side fame, obviously. Whereas Ivan Vijay's fame is the whole, the whole world's going crazy. You're looking at the whole planet. Even the four rain worlds are going to go crazy. You're looking at something fucking crazy. You're looking at worldwide international fame, man. Me and her are king and queen. We're ruling over the world, man. Hence why we're going to feel so on top of the world, man. Everywhere we go, people take pictures, trends online. You're gonna see. You're gonna see me and her looking. For, it's cool seeing seeing you and your, seeing me and VJ looking hot as hell with our nice clothes. You know, saying all these pictures trending online. Me and her at the club dancing up. You know, those, those pictures are trending online. And that's why you guys are gonna remember this poor sabotage Ivan. You know, I remember Ivan when he made videos for us on the Saturday channel. Now look at him. He's living a life and he's king. Yeah, man. That's why this series will be missed, man. And the VJ in Hollywood will be missed, too. As you guys are going to go back. Whenever VJ is queen with me, you guys are going to go back. You're going to watch her what? You're going to go back and you're going to watch her. You're going to remember her. Some of you guys might go back. You might even go back and you watch Victorious. Oh, my God. Like, this was going to be so sad. You Oh, my God. This is Victoria. This is VJ when she was in Hollywood. When she was a teenager. You know what I'm saying? She was in Victorious. I remember her in Victorious when she didn't know her career was sabotage. This was VJ and Eye Candy when she was a sabotage trashy points on Hollywood. This is where this is her. You're gonna go back and watch Victorious. Just like you're gonna go back and watch my videos, you're gonna go back and watch Victorious. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna go back and watch Victorious. 
once you when Vijay was in Victorious, you're gonna go back and watch Icon. Oh my god, this is Vijay when she was in Hollywood, obviously. You know what I'm saying, oh my god, look at Vijay now, she's more mature, obviously. Because when I meet Vijay, me, me and Vijay will be young, but we'll be more mature, obviously. Because I'll be like 30 years old when Vijay meets me, and so I'll be young, but I'll be more mature. Obviously, when you're 30 years old, 29, you're still young, you're still pretty much kids, you're still young. Well, you're not kids, but you're young, but you're more mature, obviously. So the Vijay you see now is, is she's young, she's beautiful, but she looks more mature, obviously. As you can tell, like when you compare Vijay now to in her victorious days, she's a lot more mature. You can tell she's a lot more mature. She's a lot more mature now because she's in her late 20s now. Whereas back then, she was like a, teenage, a teenager. You see Vijay's videos when she was a teenager, you compare them to now, she's a lot, you can tell how more, she's a lot more mature now, obviously. Whereas you saw her, you see her videos when she's 18, yeah, she's a lot less mature back then. Like in, in her victorious days when she was like 17, 18, you're going to go back, oh my god, this is VJ when she was 17, 18 years old in victorious, obviously. You're even going to go back, you know what I'm saying? You're going to go back and look at VJ's live interviews, all her interviews she did in Hollywood, all her live videos, all her live interviews over the years. Oh my god, this is VJ when she was in Hollywood. You're going to miss VJ too, man. You're going to miss VJ a lot, man. You're going to see her Instagram, her, her Instagram videos. Her life, her life, what? Her life, her live videos that she did with her sister back in 2018. Her other live videos, her live videos, her, her, her rocking horror picture show, her rocking horror picture show. No, it wasn't rocking horror picture show. It was the other. Her interview she did in 2016 for that show that she did. I forget what it was called. She did some show with that pig, whatever it is. I forget what it's called. Um. You're gonna remember her. You're gonna remember. You're gonna go back and watch, look at watch all her interviews, all, all all her interviews or her Hollywood interviews. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're, oh my god! It's gonna be so weird because now, because you're gonna. Oh my god! I remember this VJ in Hollywood. Now look at her. She's queen. She's trending. She's trending online with Ivan. Obviously, it's very weird. Obviously, obviously. But you're gonna see the difference. Obviously, the VJ you saw in Hollywood. You're gonna see. You're gonna compare the VJ with Ivan. Oh my god! The VJ with Ivan. You can. She looks so much more happy. Obviously. She, she's now happy, obviously, because, she, because now she can see me, obviously. Whereas in Hollywood, she couldn't see me. She saw hell, obviously. As I told you, even though V... That, that, you had to see my point. You see all of VJ's interviews in Hollywood. She looks happy, supposedly happy, right? She looks happy. It looks like she's living the glamorous life, the red carpet, all that stuff. And yet every night she cries tears and she's miserable, obviously. It's the same goes for the Hollywood celebrities. A lot of them, their life looks glamorous, on camera, but behind the scenes, a lot of them are very miserable. They cry, you know what I'm saying? Because they sold out for, for fame and fortune, and they're dirty slaves. They're not free men. Hence why a lot of them are very miserable. They cry, they break down, they're depressed. A lot of them watch my... I'm not kidding around. I guarantee you a lot of Hollywood celebrities, they watch my videos for comfort, man. Because the Hollywood system is fucked up. And they're dirty slaves. They're not, they're not free, man. <coughs> yeah, man. And I'm their last hope for freedom, pretty much. See what I'm saying here? Hence why you're really... But even though VP, VJ will be missed a lot, you guys are really going to miss me because I was kept completely behind. Yeah, even though VJ, we're going to miss VJ, you're going to go back and watch the Victorious. At least VJ experienced the fame in Hollywood. We saw her in the red carpet. She had boyfriends. You know what I'm saying? She did television shows like Victorious, Eye Candy. We, re we, we already know what it's like to see VJ famous. We know also VJ did those live Hollywood interviews. She did those live. She did those Hollywood live chats. You know what I'm saying? She was on. She did Comic Con. She was on. 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 She did awards, kids awards, all that stuff, all that stuff, right? VJ got to experience some fame, but even though VJ was famous, you're, you guys are really, really gonna miss VJ too, man, because you're gonna you're gonna remember this sabotage VJ in Hollywood. But now look at her. She's queen with Ivan, obviously. But you guys are really gonna miss me because what? You're gonna miss me more, obviously, because I'm white, obviously. Don't hate me, VJ. People are really going to miss me more because I'm Y, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Don't hate me, VJ. I'm joking. I'm joking. People will miss both of us a lot, but they're going to miss me more because Ivan O'Mara never got to experience the celeb life. He was a poor bum who made videos on Sabah's YouTube channel who's kept behind the scenes. Hence, no one knows what it's like to see Ivan famous. Hence why the whole world, when everyone sees those trends, they're really going to want to see me because I wonder what it's like to see Ivan. Well, they want to see VJ too, obviously. They want to know what it's like to see Ivan famous now. I want to know what it's like to see Ivan famous as a billionaire now with his looking fly with his wife. Obviously. Hence why you guys are constantly looking at the trends. 
I want to see Ivan and VJ in those. I want to see what it's like to see Ivan famous now. With his wife looking fly, wearing his nice ass clothes. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you guys are really going to miss me. That's why I called this Ivan's and Miscellaneous series. Because this series will be very, very missed, man. You guys are really, really going to miss me. You're going to miss my wife a lot, too. You guys are going to go go back. You're going you're, you're gonna to go back and look at VJ's last Instagram post. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go back and look at what? You're going to go back and look at VJ's last Instagram post. You know what I'm saying? Her last video that she made. All that stuff. She'll be missed a lot, too. But because she experienced the fame, you guys already know what it's like for VJ to be famous. You know what it's like for VJ to be in the red carpet. You know what it's like for VJ to be in movies. Television shows, you know what it's like for VJ to dress fly, to dress fly, wear fly clothing, obviously. Was I've never had any of that, hence why it's gonna be brand new to me, hence why I will be missed, missed a lot more, obviously. I'm gonna show my cow off here.